the fucking... There we go. Welcome to guys. Today I am joined by American Infidel, the awesome, the awesome Yaush partner. AI, do you have any words to say before we jump on into this interview? Yes. Alright, what are they, my friend? Oh, I just wanted to say yes. <laughs> oh, alright. So, uh, we're gonna go to T. Roy Jenkins' question for the first question. I won't uh, actually we... answer any questions from T. Roy Jenkins. <laughs> alright. Well, uh, so apparently you banned yourself back in February? <sighs> Right. These are lies. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll skip that question, I promise. I promise. All right. So, this one comes from Risky, <laughs> I believe. What okay. is your daily routine? My daily routine? Yes. Huh. Well, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have to work from, what is it, 7... Uh -huh. A.M. till 7.30 p.m. And so generally, while I'm at work, I'm on the Yoush site, screwing around. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, on the days I'm not at work, I have school. Oh, what do you go for to school for? Um, I am going to the College of Charleston to get my bachelor's in psychology with a minor in neuroscience and then I'm starting up a nursing program this fall. Oh cool, uh, so, so you, you can be my online shrink, right? Yes. Alright, sweet. Anyone, this is AI's uh, business now. <laughs> yeah, so how's the swamp going along? The swamp is going along pretty good, actually. He's re referring to, we bought about seven acres of land that we're going to build a house on. And uh, last week, I actually took off work, and I rented a dozer, and I filled in all the swamp. Um, we got about 60 loads of dirt, and so now it looks more like actual good land than a swamp. So, Damn, uh, that's a... Uh... That's a lot of dirt. <laughs> yeah. Petard's going to be a little upset because he wanted a place to put an alligator. And I don't know if there's going to be a place for an alligator now. Well, where's my place for the lion? You want a lion? Yeah, I want a lion, man. Cash my oh. welfare. I might be able to get you a lion. All right. Maybe. Can we build like something to put him up in the trees? Yes. Because, I mean... No one expects a lion coming down from above. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know what you mean. People have heard of lion pits, but nobody heard of lion trees. trees. So, yeah, let's, that. Let's build some sort of catwalk. <laughs> you get it? Catwalk for the lions <laughs> up in the trees. All right, that will work. I'm fine. No, I'm good with that. Okay. So, uh, Jesus, someone posted. Uh, why the need for military weapons? <laughs> I don't know. I have a slide whistle. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't have any weapons at all. Alright. So, I don't know. Alright, that's fine. So, uh, hmm. what inspired you to become a YouTuber? I would uh, guess. Uh, uh, um, you know, mainly for the ladies. You know what I mean? The bitches. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know. It's just a fun little hobby. Yeah, that's... That's always nice. Mm-hmm. What made you keep coming? Yeah. Um... Well, I don't know, because I like to play games on the side, you know, I like to play video games, I'm a gamer, like, let's gotcha. be honest. And so, I went on the Yoush site one day, and I started talking with you guys, I was like, you know what, fuck you guys, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna start my own channel, I'm gonna do all this, and so far it's been coming out okay, I have around... 21.1 views of average per video, so... Well, you, you, like, really put the math to that. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, 
<laughs> it's not that hard when you only have ten videos, you know. Oh, right, yeah. Just move the decimal over one. <laughs> oh, tens. Yes. Alright, so... PS4 or X-Bone? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get, to be honest with you. It kind of depends on what they do with the. Uh, if you have, if it's, if they're going to keep this whole you have to stay online thing, then I'll probably go with the PS4. Because um, we're we're building the house, it just isn't going to have really very good dependent internet connection. So it's you know it's going to depend on that a lot. You do know that they uh, canceled that, right? Supposedly and allegedly. Well, they did, and they're going to have it with a day one update. But currently there are Xbox fucking douchebags out there who are signing a petition to bring back that stuff. Really? Like, yeah. that's a thing? That's a real thing people are doing? Yeah, that's actually a real thing. One of them has 5,000 signs. Like, they have 5,000 different signs or 5,000 signatures? 5,000 signatures. Because <laughs> that's a lot of signs, you know, <laughs> just for one petition. <laughs> yes, it is. Huh, Please. are they serious or are they just like PlayStation trolls? Um, personally, I think they're just PlayStation trolls, but I'm not sure. They, they're they saying they're going to send it to Microsoft, though. So. Right. Well, I can, I don't know. I can take a shit in a box and send it to Microsoft and probably get about the same amount done, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, I got the free time if someone wants to buy the postage. <laughs> um, I don't know. How much is the postage? Jesus. I guess it depends on the weight of the dump, you know what I mean? Like, if you're talking a good dry one, not so much, but like a, one of, like a big wet one, you know, water weighs a lot, so... Yeah, water does weigh a lot, and then it would, like, seek through the box, too. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Would you put it in a plastic bag and then send it, or just, like, send it in the box? Or would you have, like, a special box that's waterproof? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Man, we're going to have to look into this. Yeah. Let's send in a Microsoft uh, Xbox thing. One of those boxes. <laughs> or, 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 like if you get the red ring and you're sending it back, just fucking pack it into the goddamn Xbox. Yeah. You know, just pack it into the console. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm doing. My I, Xbox I, I, is still working, but I'm still just going to take a giant shit in it and just <laughs> send it back. <laughs> well, no problem with that, man. They're going right. to be like, who would do this to a perfectly good Xbox? So now we go to Fused with... He's got two questions. Two-parter, huh? Yes, two-parter. Well, what are you going to ask first? What? What question are you going to ask first? How is the swamp coming along? The swamp is coming along beautifully. I'm right. filling the swamp in. All right, hold on. <laughs> yes, they would. All right, so... Hmm. Really? Let's look. Oh, this goes to Skarin. You're not gonna get like in trouble for this or anything, are you? For you don't have a girlfriend? Uh technically I don't have a girlfriend, but what what's up? <laughs> Alright, that's fine. So this question comes from Scaren on Yosh.com. You can join us on the forums anytime you would like. Perfect place to hang out. It's not are, you, are you a boob or an ass man? Oh. Yeah, um I'm uh I guess I'm a tits man. You know what I mean? Because once... Like, Lady AI has, like, a nice set of tits. And so, you know what I mean? It's like, you wouldn't ever want to downgrade from what you have, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't ever want to go to someone who, like, doesn't have a nice set of tits. So that. I'm a tits man. All up tits. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is great. But yeah, I I totally agree with you, man. I'm glad you do. We yeah. can be friends now. Yeah, we're definitely friends. All right, so since you're from South Carolina, I don't think you be can be too biased with this question. Do okay. you like the Boston Red Sox? 
No, I I grew up in New York. I'm a Yankees fan. Oh, oh, um, this is gonna sever the friendship uh, incredibly. It's okay. All right. So, have you ever seen the movie Scarface? Yes. Now, <laughs> do you trust anyone else, or do you just trust yourself? I trust myself, my parents, my brother, and Lady AI. And that's about it. You don't tr trust Bacon Goddess? No. What the hell, dude? She gives me free bacon all the time. How, does, how do you get it, though? Does she ship it? Yeah. Uh, she ships a plate, and then, like, it magically forms bacon on top of it. Well, see, that's why I don't fucking trust her. She doesn't send me any fucking bacon. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? God. All right, dude. I'll, I'll have her. I'll have her send you some bacon. Calm down. Right She's now. fired. She's fired. Yep. All right. All right. So on Twitter. Well, yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask a question. That I think most YouTubers would answer as it's annoying, but. Do you like getting tweets from people that are like, Hey man, check out this video, check out my channel. I mean, I don't really get like a lot of them, so it's not too annoying to me. I guess what a lot of YouTubers, you know, if someone wants you to check out their stuff, then they obviously care about your opinion. Or they just think that you can gain them some sort of, you know, publicity. So either way, if it's it's kind of sorry saying that you have enough influence within the community, yep. so you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it should be kind of taken, I guess, I don't mind it at all, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but I think a lot of like bigger YouTubers don't recognize the, the effect they have on individuals. You know, even some kid with like, 26 subs, you know, a tweet or a retweet from X Jaws or Wings or one of those guys, that would be like make their fucking weekend, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, when I got retweet, when you accepted this interview, that made my fucking whole month for it. Right? Interview. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean, you know? I think it's kind of on those people to, I guess, further the community along, and a lot of them don't do that. KSX Silencer, he's one of the bigger guys that is, you know, he'll take time for anybody, as far as I've seen, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's, I think there be more of that. That's always a great thing in a YouTuber. So now we go on to Odd Premises' question, cake <laughs> or death? Uh, like, what kind of cake, though? And how would I die? I think it's like an organic, like, shitty cake. Yeah, see, that sucks. That's, like, made from lion hide. Mm. And then... Death. <laughs> and then death would... You'd be getting mauled by a cougar, and then a lion. Would I, the, would I be the one who killed the tiger with my bare hands, though? Yes, you would. God damn. Then that's a tough choice. How do you think you would fare one-on-one -on -one against a tiger? Um, me, personally? Yes. Jesus Christ, I'd run my house, grab my gun, I'd shock on that bitch. No, like mano y mano. <laughs> mano y gato. <laughs> uh, bare hands. Just um, you, fucking tiger. Does he have claws? Well, yeah, what well, fucking. Yeah, it's not declawed. Huh. Are his teeth sharp, or does he, like, not brush his teeth and, like, gnaw on metal? I'm going to say it's an average sharp teeth. <laughs> yes, is my answer. Do, do I get um, where those uh, things when they're training those canine dog units, where they uh, make it so they don't bite into your skin? Do I get to wear one of those? It's just going to slow you down, but if you want it, you can have it. Well, I don't know. It might protect me, though. It might protect you. It might hinder you also. I think you need to think on that a little bit further. But that's I, your choice. Are we in a cage? Do you want to be in a cage when you fight the beast? I don't know. How big of a cage are we going to be in? Are we going to be in, like, UFC octagon size cage? I'm thinking, like, 
Hunger Games cage. You know what I mean? So yes, you're confined to a space, but it's kind of a big open environment. Would I like be able to craft weapons like if I knock down a tree? Yes. You could totally go on a Schwarzenegger via Predator. Fuck but you yeah, can't put any weapons in. Fuck yeah, I would do that. Okay. I would do that. What are you doing this Saturday? I got a tiger and I got some spare time. Oh uh, shit, this Saturday, um... Hmm, I don't know. Alright. Don't back out, pussy. Alright, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. If I can get down there, though, I don't, I don't know. That's, uh, that's a lot of traveling time to get eaten by a tiger. Yeah, that's a long haul. Yeah. I don't know. You think. I'll, 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 I'll get back to you on that tonight. For my <laughs> answer, go to Yoush.com. Yoush, the badass gamers. That's who we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that, like, so when I cut the video into parts, if I cut it into parts, like, you know, it will end on, like, Yoush. You know? Gotcha. Yeah. So, um... Shit. Do you play Pokemon? I don't know. I'm an adult. <laughs> Have you ever played Poke Pokemon? No. You've nope. never played Pokemon in your life? Nope. Was your childhood it. really shitty? No. I'm 31. <laughs> Pokemon wasn't even a thing in my childhood. <laughs> well, what the fuck? I just don't get it. Like, it's... Like, can you control the little guys? Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah, it's like having a pet fucking dragon that breathes out fire on their asses, man. But is it like Street Fighter, or is it like Final Fantasy? It's turn for turn. It's like Final Fantasy. See, that's fucking guy. Well, I like... I don't like Final Fantasy games. Neither do I. But I like the turn for turn basis. Yeah. I mean, that's always good. But I mean, it's only 1v1, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, sometimes you have a two on two Pokemon battle, but. That must be fucking intense. Yeah, dude, that's total fucking intense, man. It's like, holy <laughs> shit, what do I do? <laughs> Do I want to call out my Charizard or my War Turtle or fucking... Right? Yeah, I... man. I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys handle it. Uh, you gotta be a badass gamer, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. so... Now, let's go on to a hardware question. Hardware? Yeah. Alright. No, I'm not talking about your genitals. Gotcha. All right, just just want to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use to record? Uh, I have the first HD PVR. Oh. Now, do you have any like older equipment? Uh, no. 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 What I just I have the the first. You know, you know they they got the HD PVR or the Hopalog. I'm sorry, I got the. Just the first gen Hopalog is what I have. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah, I like it. Can I have your home address so I can come and grab it in the middle of the night? That won't work out good for you. Why, why not? <laughs> you, you should definitely just knock. Oh, just knock? Yep, unless you want to wrestle a naked man. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Alright. These All are right. the choices you have to make. <laughs> Then if I knock on your door, will you give me it, or will I still have to wrestle you? I think if, I'm not going to give you in my address, but if you knock on my door and be like, hey man, I'm here for the Hopawag, I think I would give it to you. <laughs> what if I, what if I like find a, what if I like find your address, alright, and because I don't really want to drive all the way down to South Carolina. Right. If I were to send you like a box... No nope. letter on it saying give me nope. the fucking hapog, would you give it to me? Nope. Damn it. You would, you would have to knock on my door and be like, I am here for the hopalog, sir. <laughs> what if I send uh, a robot version of me? 
Yeah, that that is also acceptable. All right, shit. I better contact the local evil scientist. <laughs> All right, so this is this has been fun, hasn't it? I mean, marginally yes. All right. <laughs> oh shit. So is this the first time you've ever done an interview like this? No, I don't think so. I don't remember the other. I don't remember the other ones though. Were they for like jobs or? Oh, I mean, I've been interviewed for jobs before. Yeah. Oh yeah, who hasn't, right? Speaking of which, I had the easiest interview ever. Tell me all about it. A couple of days ago. So, I was at the golf course. I was playing some golf, right? Yeah, and that the, makes and sense. The, and the owner comes up to me, and he's like, hey, are you a member here? I'm like, no. And he's like, why not? And I'm like, I don't have the money to afford it because it's expensive as shit to be a member there. Yeah. And so he's like, well, how would you feel if we were to help you out get a membership? I was like, are you asking me to work for you? And he's like, yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do it then. That's it? Yeah, that was it, man. Is it Bushwick? <laughs> I'm not sure. Are you an avid golfer? Um, I like golf, yeah. I go out every Tuesday and Thursday and play. So I would say yes, you're an avid golfer. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Except I get really mad when I hook a shot. I go hook. Shit. That you say that specifically? Yes, I say that specifically. <laughs> nice. So, what are you doing for the rest of today? I am going to play video games, and then I'm going to clean. What are you cleaning? My apartment. How big is your apartment? I have a tiny piece of shit studio apartment. Oh, those suck. Yeah, but it's inexpensive and we're saving for the house and all that kind of stuff, so it works out really well. Now, who is we? Lady AI and I. Oh, do you live near Lady AI? Yeah, she lives closer to where we're actually building the house. So, oh. Yeah. Now so you guys we, are going to build me a kick-ass room, right? I mean, I might let you share my tree fort, but you're not going to live in our house. Why can't yeah. I live in your house, man? Because I want to be able to have sex in any room, any hallway I want, and I don't want to have to worry about somebody else being in said room or hallway or closet or bathroom or stairs or well, what, if I what if I tell you I bring a girl with me, right? I doubt it, but I'm, I mean, I, I'm listening. <laughs> What? That, that was a very nice AI. <laughs> <laughs> but, alright, so I bring a girl with me, right? Alright, let's play this fantasy out. <laughs> hey, I've got plenty of girls. Don't worry about it. So, anyways. So, I bring this girl down here, right? Yes. And I'm, like, super fucked up. I need somewhere to crash. Right. If I knock on your door and I'm like, Hey, dude, can I crash here? Will you let me crash there? Yes. Is it because I have the chick there, or because I had the balls to come up and knock on your door? It's because I wouldn't want you to drive away and get hurt. Oh. It seems legit. <laughs> what if I told you she was driving, though? Well, would she be drunk? Um, I don't, no, she's like that true no. type that doesn't do anything fun. Ha, oh, then why would you want to be with her? Because she has really good sex. Now, there's a small piece of advice I was given when I was about your age. There's a point in the night when you have to make a decision. You're either going to get really fucked up, <laughs> or you're going to try to get fucked. And you uh, can't do both. Um, I, I... I can't? I can't do both? No. They're Why just, not? <laughs> there comes a point in time when <laughs> when the alcohol diminishes the possibility of achieving an erect erection. Now, if you just want to do some like light finger banging or something, then I suppose you can get through it with that. All right, that's uh, that's wonderful. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't think you were going to learn anything. Uh, not in this interview, no. No, believe it or not. <laughs> I thought it was mostly just going to be sarcasm, but it's come out to be really cool, and I'm glad I had this opportunity. To sit yeah, down that's not it. sarcasm at all. Yeah, that's, I, that's like science. That is literally science. That has been proved in a court of law. All right, I love science. So, I was watching Mansers the other day, okay. and it's like, what size boob is best to get laid with? And it was a fucking pear. What? What? Yeah, what it was a pear-shaped tit. I guess, what size do you want? Like, what is the best size? Ah, uh, fucking, fucking or huge like, ones. Or like, what is the best size to titty fuck? Cause you can't get laid with boobs. Like well, you just can. To, like to lay down with? Like to cuddle with? Yeah, to lay down and cuddle with. Oh. Yeah, the bigger the better. I would have to say that. I can use them as a fucking pillow. Right, exactly. But it, and even warmth at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can like warm up a cheese sandwich. And <laughs> <laughs> you can put like a cheese sandwich under one of them. And let you fucking rest your head on the other one. That's a good time, man. You know what I mean? That's a Saturday night when it's raining out. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's another question. All right. Uh, we're, we kind of strayed from the questions. This has come to, like, a shits and giggles, let's talk thing. But anyways, like what... Do you do your own recording, or do you send it out to someone? Like, with video games? Like, editing. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I do it. All right. Hmm. I have power directors, what I use. Oh. That does nice. Yeah. I gotta get a new... I use a laptop, and it's about three going on four years old. So I'm gonna have to get a new one that's... You know, just a little bit more powerful and can render shit out faster, but... That sucks. Eh, I mean, it's been good for four years, so, you know, that's yeah, pretty that's good true. for a laptop. Hmm. Well, I, I think we're going to call it for the recorded part of the interview for now. Gotcha. Well, All thank right. you for the interview. No I had problem. Fun. I, I had fun, too. All right, and thank you for sitting down with me and giving me this opportunity. All right, guys, sir. that is all the time we have for today. If you want more, if you want to be able to talk with this awesome, sarcastic man, go on over to yaush.com and register your own account, the number one place for all video games and all recordings.